believe that life from Earth could spread to other planets. What is spread? Spread means reaching a larger area. Okay, reaching or affecting larger area. Gradually reaching or affecting a larger area. This act is called seeding uh, planets. This act, act, what is this? Act is uh, what you do, okay? A single thing that you do is an act. Act is called seeding planets. What is seeding? Uh, seeding, to seed means to um, put the seed, okay? Plant the seed uh, in the ground is uh, seeding. You understand? And seed is a uh, small hard part of a plant, all right? Which uh, which becomes a new plant. That's a seed. Okay, let's go to the next part. In the early 21st century, scientists discovered some new strains of bacteria high in the atmosphere. No one knows where these bacteria came from. Some people suggested that they were already on Earth, but were blown into the atmosphere. Perhaps a volcanic eruption did this. Supporters of this theory note that new types of bacteria are being discovered all the time. However, other scientists had a different idea. They theorized that a comet or meteoroid passing by or entering the Earth's atmosphere brought the bacteria from other worlds. Any reaction to that? Yes? You can't be serious, can you? The okay. What is this part about? This part is about uh, in the early 21st century, scientists discovered uh, new types of bacteria in the uh, atmosphere. Okay? Some people thought that uh, they were uh, bacteria that were already on Earth. But some people um, believe that um, it was from outer space. Okay, So uh, let's uh, look into it. In the early 21st century, scientists discovered some new strains of bacteria high in the atmosphere. In the early 21st century, what's a century? Century is 100 years. Okay? Cent means 100. Okay? In one dollar, uh, there's um, 100 cents. Okay, cent mean, cent means one hundred. So also you, you can say centimeter, right? In one meter there, uh, there's a uh, one hundred uh, centimeters. Okay. So cent means one hundred. Twenty-first century. When is this? Twenty-first century is nineteen something. You understand? Nineteen something. Um, when is the first? Okay, 19-something. Okay. When is the first century? The first century is from year 1 to 100. When is the second century? It's from uh, year 101 to 200. So, um, 21st century is... Um, oh, no, 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 no. 21st century is what? 20 something. You understand? 20 something. We are in the um, 21st century now. Okay? Um, scientists discovered some strains of bacteria high in the atmosphere. Discovered some new strains. What's a strain? Strain is a type of germ or plant, okay? A type of uh, bacteria high in the atmosphere. What does that mean high? High means um, there are a lot of it, okay? High in the atmosphere, okay? So it means um, great in um, intensity or quantity, okay? In the atmosphere. What is atmosphere? Atmosphere um, is the layer of air or other gases around a planet. Okay? 
No one knows where these bacteria came from. Some people suggested that uh, they were already on Earth but were blown into the atmosphere. Some people suggested that. What does suggest mean? Suggest means to uh, put forward an idea or a plan for people to think about. They were already on Earth but were blown into the atmosphere. Blown uh, by wind or something, right? Perhaps a volcanic eruption did this. Perhaps a volcanic, what does that mean? Volcanic means um, created by a uh, volcano. All right. What is a volcano? It's a mountain from which um, hot um, melted rock called lava and ash and steam and gas from inside the earth uh, sometimes burst. That's a volcano. Okay. Erupt. What does that mean? Erupt means uh, letting out a volcano, letting out uh, those um, hard melted rock, um, ash, steam, or um, gas. That's erupting. It's like bursting. Supporters of this theory note that new types of bacteria are being discovered all the time. Supporters? What's a supporter? Supporter is someone who supports something. What does support mean? Support means you agree to something, okay, and you help that thing to be successful. Okay, that's supporting. Supporters of this theory note that. What does theory mean? Theory is a formal idea or set of ideas, okay, uh, which is which are intended to um, explain something. Note that. What does note mean? Uh, means uh, draw attention of others to let them know something. Okay. Note that new types of bacteria uh, are being discovered all the time. However, other scientists had a different idea. However, what does that mean? You use however when you want to, uh, want to say something that contrasts what you have just said. Okay? It's like but. But other scientists had a different idea. They theorized that a comet or meteoroid passing by or entering Earth's atmosphere brought the bacteria from other worlds. They theorized that. What does theorize mean? Theorize means to um, make something into a theory. Okay? Uh, forming a, um, developing a, an ab abstract idea or set of ideas to uh, explain something. Theorize that a comet, what's a comet? Comet is um, a bright object in the sky, okay, in space with a long tail. Okay, and it orbits the sun, all right? Or meteorite passing by. What does that mean, passing by? Pass by means to um, go past something. What does that mean? It means to go near something and keep on moving. So you, so um, after that, you have that thing behind you that is uh, passing by or entering Earth's atmosphere. What does enter mean? Enter means to go in. Earth's atmosphere brought the bacteria from other worlds. Any reaction to that? What is a reaction? Reaction is what you say or do because of something else. All right? You can't be serious, can you? What does serious mean? Serious means sincere. That means you, you, you really mean what you say. All right? Okay, let's go to the uh, next part. You can't be serious, can you? Listen to the evidence first, and then you can be the judge. Okay? So here's the question. How can bacterial spores, living organisms, survive a journey in space? Space is a harsh environment. It's intensely cold, it has no oxygen, and there's dangerous ultraviolet radiation from the sun, too. 
Also, the bacteria would have to survive extreme heat upon entering Earth's atmosphere. Well, some Swiss and German scientists set out to prove bacteria could travel long distances and survive. They examined some dust particles collected by Charles Darwin during his travels more than a century ago. They conducted experiments on the bacteria that had gotten attached to the spores. Here's what they learned. Those bacteria spores had traveled to other continents and had lived for at least two centuries. Okay, what is this part about? So, in judging this, right, uh, there's a question. How can the bacteria survive the journey in space? Okay. Space is a harsh environment. That means it's a difficult environment to live. Okay. Uh, and, um, but uh, some scientists from Swiss and, uh, Switzerland and Germany um, proved that um, they, bacteria could travel long distances. Okay, they examined the dust particles collected by Charles Darwin. Okay, and they have found that uh, those bacteria spores travel to other continents and lived for at least two centuries. Okay, um, okay. Let's uh, look into this part. Listen to the evidence first, and then you can be the judge. What's a judge? Judge is a person who decides what's wrong and what's right. So here's the question. How can bacterial spores, living organisms, survive a journey in space? Bacterial spores. Living organisms. What's an organism? Organism is a, li a, is a living thing. Uh, especially a small one, which you can only see with a microscope. Survive a journey in space. What does survive mean? Survive means to um, keep on living, okay? Um, sir means at the top, and vive means live, so this means outlive, all right? Survive a journey in space. Space is a harsh environment. What does harsh mean? Harsh means uh, difficult to live, all right? Harsh environment. What is environment? It is all the things and the uh, animals and plants that uh, surrounds you and affect your life. Okay? Um, it's intensely cold. It has no oxygen. And there's dangerous ultraviolet radiation from the sun too. It's intensely cold. What does that mean, intense? Intense means very great uh, or extreme in uh, degree, okay, or strength, okay. Intensely cold, has no oxygen. What is oxygen? Oxygen is um, the colorless gas that is um, found in large quantities in the air and plants and animals live, um, need that um, gas to live. And there's dangerous ultraviolet radiation from the sun, too. Ultraviolet. What is ultraviolet? Um, it is... Uh, the part of the ray from the sun. Um, which makes your skin dark, okay? And uh, which can cause cancer, all right? That's ultraviolet. So you uh, wear a sunblock to block this ray, all right? Um, I will talk about some... Um, um, electromagnetic uh, spectrum to um, explain ultraviolet to you, okay?